Okay, we're back with round two of week two. And uh, I was surprised to see that my current opponent, Revenator, is someone I had just faced in the finals of the uh, of the first week. Um, and uh, it's uh, so he was in the same group as me. And uh, as it happened, both of us won our first matches and got matched up with each other. So both of us have just recently fought each other. We uh, have we know exactly what our more or less what our mods are like, what our uh, strengths and weaknesses are, and what we have kept on defense against each other, and what the other person has has used to take out uh, our defenses. We know all of that stuff. It's still fresh in our mind. Obviously, my opponent has uh, uh, seen my uh, uh, video. Um, I did share it with him um, after our last match, so he knows exactly what I did. Uh, but uh, even I've had a chance to go into uh, swgoh.gg and check out my uh, my opponent as well. So um, so let's go ahead and uh, and have round two against uh, Revenator. Let's go and uh, check it out how it goes. Um, so it's still only five hours left to go. My opponent hasn't had a chance to go, but I usually wait for my opponent to go before I I uh, do my thing. But uh, but I'm I'm running out of time. I've got a few other things to do. So I just thought I'll go ahead and have a quick battle. I've got my bounty hunters over here. This time I decided to keep Nest out of the bounty hunter team and kept Zam in there. Let's see how that happens. Um, and then um, I've kept Nest along with Newt with uh, with a couple of tanks. So I'm hoping he takes something heavy for that. Hopefully uh, uh, JKR or something like that. Because at the back over here, I've kept my uh, my JKR, my um, my my um, uh, General Grievous, which which uh, will take in JKR if he hasn't used it up front. Um, and uh, I've also kept my my um, my JTR team on defense. Um, typically, I used it to take out bounty hunters or something like that, but it's becoming more and more difficult to gain full banners against uh, teams with JTR. Um, I mean, you can do it versus easy car teams or, or uh, bounty hunter teams, but you can always take troopers against those as well and, and get 60 just as well. So let's, um, um, let's see what's down at the back. Uh, no change over here. That's one thing which is consistent for me. I always keep my Darth Revan and Skywalker team on defense down below. Some... Uh, Easier teams at the back, um, Jedi and uh, and Vader. So let's go ahead and uh, and take a look at my opponent. At the top, they've kept bounty hunters and uh, and Karth. So that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, um, Grievous and Bugs. So last time, my opponent had kept uh, his General Skywalker, fully R seven General Skywalker team down below. And I did manage to one-shot it with my CLS Rebel. So I'm thinking that my opponent might have decided to keep his uh, Skywalker on offense and try to play an efficiency game, which means that uh, I have a feeling that the defense is going to be relatively lighter. So let's take a look at that. First, um, um, I'm still going to save my CLS for the back, but I want to clear the, the zones uh, in the front before uh, deciding what to take at the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the for the bugs... I'm going to go in with the, uh, it is a Relic 4 uh, Spy, so I'm going to go in with my Treya team, but I'm going to go in with a full uh, 5 squad. I've kept uh, Savage in there, he's a little tanky. Um, I don't have any other pre-taunters, <clears throat> but I do have a Royal Guard who's um, an auto-taunter and should be enough to take out heat for a little bit at least. I, I have a feeling he might die, but if he's able to absorb one hit from Spy, it'll be good enough. So I do go first, let me reduce the cooldown from Nihilus. I go after Savage, which is fine. <clears throat> Vader went after Royal Guard, which is okay. Now my Scion is at full health, so we should be able to, full health and full protection, so should be able to tank a little more. <clears throat> So that was an, actually an advantage because Royal Guard was uh, the weakest. So these guys decided to go in for the weakest character. <clears throat> Who do I get rid of? Um, I can just get rid of Brood Alpha because the others will fall uh, pretty easily. Poggle next. Okay, full health. And get rid of Soldier. Get rid of uh, this guy. And then uh, just keep working on uh, on Brute till I get an opening on Spy. <clears throat> so there Spy landed his big hit. 
try to get at least some uh, some recovery on Scion. Each time I hit a debuffed enemy, um, I recover health on my on my character. So this should hopefully get him back to full health. Uh, yep, I think it did. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, 54 because I lost Royal Guard in there, but I think Royal Guard did his job. He was the weakest, so they targeted him first. Um, all right. Now, Grievous, um, I'm going to go in. It's a R7 Grievous with the Relic, uh, with Relic B1, but uh, yeah, with a lot of offense. So let's uh, let's go ahead with our, gen with, our uh, uh, with our regular squad of Jedi Knight Revan um, and, uh, and take care of that see what's at the back I'm gonna pass it over to Yoda so that he um, does his AOE and then uh, spread some buffs and uh, then let B1 uh, B2 go all right now let's uh, go ahead and target B2 okay now Grievous is open so let's go ahead for him and uh, this should um, we should get him down pretty soon. Even though he's R seven, we've got enough assists on the team to to take care of that. Now the next biggest danger is Droidica. so we need to make sure that we have a, a dispel ready for that. Reduce the stacks. Let's. Uh, Call Revan. Let's heal everyone so they at least have full uh, protection, full health on everyone. Okay, good. We landed a stun. Let's keep working on this guy. Let's get rid of Droidica. We don't want any more hits. And uh, I don't think we will uh, have full health, full protection on everyone. But uh, but let's just finish it off. Let's try to delay as much as we can and call a few more assists. Uh, I don't can't see who's. Uh, let me just call Yoda. Call Yoda again, so that uh, we end up uh, at least uh, healing up a few folks. Sixty. Okay, managed to heal everyone up. All right. So fifty-four and sixty. Let's see what's at the back and see if they've kept their grievous there. They haven't. They've kept up. Um, Night Sisters, and I believe I used uh, Padme against that. And then they have uh, Kira Nest, which they've kept uh, up front. Both these teams were up front last time. So let's uh, let's take these teams out, see what's at the back, and then we can decide what to take down below. Um, now the boss team, I think, is slower than my troopers. Um, his boss is 290. He doesn't have Django lead in there, so that's going to be his final speed. So I think I'm going to just take my troopers in there. My troopers only G11, but I think uh, I think they'll uh, they'll do the job. Um, let's uh, let's target um, Cad Bane. He's the weakest. <clears throat> and let's increase the cooldowns and uh, and try to go after Boba next. So my troopers won't hit as hard as uh, as some of the other troopers that you see, um, especially G12, G13 ones. But I think they do the job fine. Let's recover some protection. Wait for uh, death mark to come around. There we go. Uh, we dispel the death mark. Excellent. Perfect timing. So this is going to be a bit of a slog, but uh, the main danger guys are gone, so uh, nothing to worry about. Oh, I got rid of my veers. So this is going, not going to be as uh, banner efficient as I thought. But we, uh, we managed to save uh, a good team. I think we'll get 50... Six, yep, fifty-six. 
Okay, so uh, I don't think we needed to save all the teams. We have more than enough offense, but I don't know what's at the back. Um, against the uh, Karth team, I'm going to take in my EP team and uh, get some stuns in. Who else do I have who can inflict some stuns? Um, Empire. Nah, no stunners there. Sith. No, well, we've got Sith Assassin, but uh, but she's too weak. Okay, let me just go in with uh, with this team. We've got Dooku and uh, an EP. This should be more than enough. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the sword to Basti, get the fear rolling, and then get the stun started. Um, let's... Uh, Fracture him, reduce some turn meter, stuns. Excellent, we got three stuns. See if we can't land a stun here. I'm gonna um, hold off on killing these guys uh, and see if I can't land a few more stuns. Because I think we still have about 30 or 40 left in our, in our feet for the stuns. Uh, let's pass it over to EP. Alright. Um, the problem is these guys are dying too fast. I need to spread the um, the shock around. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can't stun mission. There we go. Uh, okay. I think we locked behind taunt. Let's do this. Okay, managed to kill him. Let's just do this here. I don't think we can delay it anymore. These guys don't have uh, as much damage. I'm not sure if reapplying stun like that on an already stunned character counts as an extra stun, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Okay, let's uh, pass it to EP. Mm, nope, I don't think we can delay anymore. This is uh, this team is done. Okay, uh, let's see what's at the back. Ooh, they do have that Padme in there. Mm, this is interesting. <laughs> Maybe I should have saved my Thrawn, but um, but I might have to do a mirror or something like that. Let's see. If they have their Padme, that means that they're going to have, I don't know what they saved for, uh, for my team. Um, down below, they... Uh, they have their own Revan, they have their own General Skywalker, so they should be able to manage these two teams fine. And uh, yeah, I think they'll they'll do okay. Let's quickly take a look at how many stuns we managed to get in. Okay, we did manage to claim the Stunning Revelation and Tactical Advance. Alright. Um, so we were done with all the uh, feats, we don't have anything outstanding. Let's see what we want to take against these guys. Against Padme, I think I want to take in my own Padme team. Um, that is going to be the um, the best counter I have remaining. I do have uh, um, CLS as well, but I don't know if uh, CLS is going to do anything versus Padme. There's just too many SS out there. Um, I've got my sisters as well which I can use against uh, a good team. I've got my my bugs and I have my first order which I can I can repurpose uh, a what from the other team to use against uh, the sisters the first order. Um, let's see whose Padme is fastest. He's got 284 so my Padme is going to beat his Padme um, but what do I want to do? And he's got Shakti in there. 288. So his Shakti is going to go even before. And he's got uh, Kenobi. Um, I don't like uh, Padme mirror matches. Um, but it uh, looks like we might not have a choice. Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and do that. I'm going to use C3PO in there. Hopefully, I'll develop more courage like that. 
thinking whether to use a shoka or shakti because um, shakti is, can dispel on basic but ashoka can dispel anytime any of my uh, allies go uh, using a special so that might be uh, that might be a better option so let's go ahead do this see um, see what happens um, let's do this okay let's uh, I can't do any assists um, assists are going to uh, end up healing these guys but let's see if you can at least land a healing immunity or something on Padme or confused I'm gonna uh, bank on the fact that I can uh, probably get more uh, more stacks of courage with c3po in there let me do a big hit over here try to get padme down as much as i can as fast as i can this i think should get her down excellent so now padme is down they won't have any uh, um a lot of the the uh, damage from this team is gone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take out uh, anakin first and uh, all the assists, all the stuff that they get, the bonus protection that they get from the assists is not going to matter anymore. Yeah, this was uh, this was relatively simple enough. Um, I don't think I had any other team which could have managed Padme, so I think this was the right call. I did want to take Padme against uh, the team down below, um, the sisters, but I think I have other teams to, to manage the sisters. Um, how fast are these sisters? 227 so 257 Asajj is probably going to go first so he's going to be 300 something um, and the good thing is the spirit is not um, is not modded for uh, offense modded for speed and she's not G12 so I think I'm going to take my crew against these guys crew with the uh, let's see um, who do I take out for uh, for getting uh, let me take out Hux he's he's pretty weak um, and I want to get in uh, Wat Tambor mm, all right um, first order stormtrooper an additional taunt and dispel um, Kylo Ren first order executioner do I need a healer in here which other first order do I have? Now these guys are all pretty weak. They're going to die with the plague. Um, which other uh, separatists do I have? Nah, I need uh, I need these guys. Okay, let's just go ahead and use these and hope that these guys don't die to plague. So I'm just going to go first. She didn't. Oh yeah, that's right. Because uh, Watt gets bonus turn. So I'm going to give this to crew first. And then I'm going to give the um, weapon stack to Fox. And he's going to get the plague out. So let's uh, let's start working on these guys. Get some turn meter. Um, let's see if he can't take out uh, Spirit. We missed out there. Uh, I'm going to stun um, Asa, uh, Talzin because she might do a mass assist. And I'm going to give this to um, Kylo Ren can recover protection and health pretty easily. I'm going to give the health tech to um, my other tank. See if you can land a stun. Okay, let's keep the um, taunt on. I'm going to use my basic because that uh, gives uh, heal over time. Um, the second ability gives protection over time. So I'm going to use the basic and see if, uh, you know, hopefully try to prevent uh, Watt from dying. Okay, so that's one death. Um, let's keep working on on these guys 
so more turn meter and hopefully we can take thousand down now I think I'm about to lose what um, but let's see let's stun uh, Saj and uh, and try to stun thousand and now now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this ability what it does is it oh no I think I'll still use I don't have any heal over time so I have to use this very close to losing um, what but uh, that may not be uh, avoidable unfortunately um, yeah it might not be avoidable losing what okay so this takes care of thousand I think we may be we may be in a good position we should be able to um, get rid of Asajj and then uh, we will delay on zombie till she can uh, till we can revive uh, um, till we can get uh, our what up to full health so I'm just going to use basics because that allows me to have heal over times all right <clears throat> basic again I think we're good we are uh, we've almost fully healed what um, let's try to get down, zombie down a few times everyone is at full health and full protection with the exception of what little bit is left but uh, we'll get that done right now so let's uh, stun Daka and keep uh, working on um, on zombie okay I think everyone is at full health and full protection so we should be good to go yep 60 banners so this is a uh, this is a good outcome Daka is great to control um, and leave towards the end because she can uh, she can be get really tanky and uh, you know she allows you to take enough time to recover health and protection all right so we've got zombie they should do it there we go 30 seconds to spare but we got the full 60 okay now uh, we've got two relatively weaker teams the newt one is a trickier one they've got uh, Django Dooku and um, um, IPD in there and uh, this one has got nest so what do I want to take against nest I might have to take my sisters against the the nest team and uh, and CLS against uh, oh you know what I think even the geos will do a decent job against um, against these guys mm. Uh, they'll get 55 banners though um, but if I use my sisters against these guys um, they'll also get 55 mm -hmm. what do I do so I've got Geo sisters and and um, and rebels Hmm. I think I'll just go for the first shot win and get uh, and use sisters against these guys um, and then use uh, CLS against Newt. How uh, how much health does uh, Nest have? 44k. So not much health. So I think maybe I can use my CLS out here. Yeah. If the nest was modded for health and I probably wouldn't have used CLS there and I'm not taking in my my C3PO so um, there shouldn't be any danger of uh, timing out against that nest so let's uh, let's use geos against uh, these guys um, and hopefully try to get 60 there's a chance at 55 but uh, I think we could get 60 as well uh, 
um, but uh, if I use sisters, there's it's I'm sure to get sixty against uh, against any team that I I'm sure to get fifty five against any team that I use. So this is uh, definitely a much better option. Okay, let's pay the extortion, get rid of uh, probe droid, and then let's get rid of uh, Duku. Now, Django has damage immunity, so there is a danger of uh, us uh, reducing his turn meter and uh, and uh, him still being under um, damage immunity. But uh, but I think he should be able to come out of damage immunity now because we reduce turn meter. I think only when um, you use a basics. Um, so I think he's out of damage immunity now. So yeah, so that's uh, I think that was a good decision. We managed to get a full 60 against the new team. Now um, we just need to finish off uh, Nest with our CLS team and then we should be good. And I think I'm just going to go in with my... with these four. We should be more than enough to do the job. Um, I could probably get in uh, Shakti in order to recover some protection, but uh, but I don't think I'll, I'll need her. Um, I think this should be more than enough. And maybe I don't even need Stormtrooper Han. Okay, let's get rid of uh, Wando so we don't have any revive problems. And. Uh, and see if he can't get rid of Kira. Stun nest. A lot of tenacity, so that's not going to happen. Mm, let's do this. Okay, let's just. Uh, I'm going to save Django. Uh, that guy has a buffer. Big hit. Okay, almost gone. Okay, so let's just... Uh, okay, so we took out Nest without much problem. Um, 59. Okay, that is a good outcome. I um, I didn't think Nest would go down so fast, but uh, she had very little help. If she had about 80k, 90k health, then it would have been a little more problematic. So 1906, um, good outcome. I think it's a, it's a few more banners than what I got last time, but I think my opponent is planning to use... Uh, um, his General Skywalker against mine. And that's the reason I hate to keep General Skywalker on offense is because the banners that you get are really, really very, very low um, because you ultimately end up losing five. So that's three banners right there. And then you lose protection on, on the other four. Um, that's another four banners. So you'll probably end up with 52, 53 banners, uh, most likely, even if it's a good match. Um, so not very banner efficient, but uh, my opponent has to, he's got a 14 banner, um, efficiency um, gap so he needs to not lose more than 14 banners um, in order to win um, so that's um, that's that's basically the situation and uh, I've kept uh, banner stripping teams out here so I think uh, it might be problematic but uh, but let's see let's see how my opponent does um, so um, so 1906 um, I will give you guys an update in the comments section um, in, a, in a few minutes once in a few um, Hours once my opponent has had a time to go, but uh, I'll go ahead and um, and end the video now, and I'll catch you guys in a couple of days. Talk to you later.